Okay, you guys, so um, we're actually still on the Taylor train. We're, we're back with the Tortured Poets Department, the anthology. And let's talk about her song, Thank You, Amy. Okay, has mm. anyone in this room had a chance to hear this song? I haven't heard it yet, but I just know there's drama yes. with it. The internet's going wild because everyone's saying it's about Kim Kardashian. As we know that they have had bad blood the past, you know, few years. And we've all been waiting for a song about Kim. And finally, it's here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Why do you think it's about Kim, you may ask? I would like to say Flavor Flav also liked the fact that it was about Kim. Did he? Really? Yeah. What did he say? He, he tweeted something on Twitter. What does Flavor Flay have to do with this? Okay, see, I'm not the only one that, that's right, enjoying Flavor this. Flay. So the reason people think it's about Kim is because in the 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 lyric, I guess, of Thank You, Amy, in the title, the K, the I, and the M are all capitalized, and it spells out Kim. So I did Taylor see that. Taylor Swift is known for her Easter eggs. And honestly, she's a little bit more subtle with them normally. She, you know, sometimes people don't catch her Easter eggs until years later. This one, I think she wanted people to know about it right away that she was talking about Kim. Look at her. That's not even like a subliminal. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, in the lyrics, she's talking about, you know, your daughter's going to come home singing to uh, one of my songs and only you oh and I are going to know it's about you. And it's really a callback because Northwest and aye, Kim, aye. Kim ended up doing a TikTok a few months ago yes, with did. one of Taylor's songs. And so it's kind of a throwback to that. And I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Messy, messy, messy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's putting her heart on the table. Yes, she's she putting the drama out on it. It's subtle. It is. It's not it, that it's subtle. It's not something kids are going to pick up on for sure. <laughs> kids aren't that are listening to this song are not going to pick up on it. So Children, it's subtle yeah, in that kids, way. Sure. Well, but, I will say one of the things, not to cut you off, one of the things I did notice was why was there a capital K and a capital I? That I didn't know what that was all about until I got the explanation because I looked at the, the song listing the of the spelled. album and the yeah. way it was spelled and i was like this is weird and then i saw that it, it's a diss at kim but yeah so go ahead no i was just gonna say to to children that love taylor swift swift and listen to her they're not gonna get it it's right subtle. unless they're around adults that talk about it and be like oh did you hear like i think this is about her do we think northwest is gonna know it's about kim because North, North is really smart, and she's yeah. like a young lady, and so. the whole internet is saying that it's about Kim. I don't see how she's not going to see that. I think so. Even if she doesn't know, I'm sure someone at school will say something. <laughs> at recess. You know, <laughs> that's how kids always find out stuff at school. <laughs> Look, North got them bars. North might write something. <laughs> right. I oh, mean, she might do a diss back. Yeah, she might do a diss track. Oh, Ms. my gosh. Might do a diss Look. No. She is Kanye's daughter, so Look. that makes sense. <laughs> And that's, you know, it's funny. You bring, you bring up the person that I actually thought would be on this record somehow if she had. No, I guess she, never. she don't have smoke with him no more. Of course. Why would she why would she let him on the album? Maybe it's on the next album. I mean, if she I waited all this time for this one. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to throw no. shots at Kim, just I mean, the ex-husband not too far. Like, I don't no, know. no, 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 no. Am I star in trouble? Am I star in trouble? Yo. What I will say is, though, there there are also tons of other drama she's talking about in this album. I mean, people are saying that she's talking about Travis Kelsey. People are saying she's talking about her ex-boyfriend, Joe, that Matt. she was with for six years. People are saying that a couple songs are about Matt Healy. And let me tell you, there are a couple songs on the album that I'm like, that's for sure about Matt Healy. <laughs> for Matt, sure. So for some of us who are not familiar with Matt Healy, who is he? Um, he's, he's in a band, um, Magic City Five. 1975. 1975. 1975. <laughs> <laughs> Thank before you, Flix by Jay. Hey, and that's before he was born. <laughs> so he's in a band, 1975. And right after Joe and Taylor broke up from being together six years, Matt and Taylor were like super public for, I don't know, like three months. Maybe it was very short, their relationship, but they went everywhere together and i don't know it just seemed kind of mm. toxic on the outside but that's just the outsider wow. so but she i feel like she confirmed it in some of these songs that that's how he was and what do you think anita i i agree i i can't disagree because i agree <laughs> <laughs> i love it i can't disagree because i agree i mean i think missy nailed it um it is about him and it is about joe but it's also about travis because when, also, when you listen to So High School, she's mm. talking about someone who's broken her heart. 
and but at the same time feeling giddy again and in love which a lot of people are like oh, like that's so high school yes but you don't have to be in high school to feel that yeah, giddy again totally you know you can feel it in adulthood it's not right and i think that's what she's saying too so even though she got her heart broken by one of them <laughs> both of them maybe both of them <laughs> who knows sorry Taylor. whoever she thought she was feeling giddy about and then they broke her heart but now she's found that type of love again so. i actually was very surprised to hear some of the songs about travis because normally she waits until the relationship like is over. over and done right. with to write songs about them but she's like smack in the middle of those relationships aka john mayer Ooh. <laughs> I think that's why there's so many songs Stop. because she probably started writing once she got with him and realized I have so much more to say mm. and figured why not put it in. Right. Well, I mean, even though she's known for her public relationships, I think she's doing It's been this a little one. bit since she came out with an album, right? It's been a little about uh, a couple of years, two years, I want to say. I don't know. Well, if you're talking about Taylor's version albums, though, see? Yeah, she's done like the whole Eras right. tour album and the Eras album. So, it's, yeah, you're right. She's been around. Yeah. And Travis was on his podcast the other day talking about how, you know, he alluded to how one of the songs was about him. Did you either of you happen to catch that? Anita, I know I, you listened to I that listened podcast. I listened to New Heights, yes, but I didn't watch it this week. I was too busy at work. Oh, sure. I caught pieces <laughs> of it. I did hear the part where he said he's happy, um, but I didn't catch the part you, you're talking about. He was saying how happy he was and, you know, how he's enjoying life. Um, so I did catch that part. And, they, and she also shows that because yesterday she released a Fortnite Fit Challenge to her fans in a YouTube short, and she... It's like 14 images slash videos of things that are part of the challenge. And he's in it. And she's cooking in another oh, one. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And you see, like, <laughs> yeah, her cat. Cute. and Oh, my um, goodness. So the fact that she's, I mean, she's being honest about how she feels with him. And she's putting it out there in images for people to see. In real time. In real time. Yeah. yeah. That's good, exciting. Good for her. Good for her. What do you guys think Kim thinks about her song? What do you guys think Kim thinks about? I don't Thank know, you, but Amy. I'm sure her phone was blowing up. Oh, yeah. I'm sure her her phone was blowing up and everybody was like, girl. Well, Kim don't rap or anything like she's that. She's like, but why am I trending? <laughs> exactly. But you know what? She's been quiet for a little while now. Yeah. I mean, I know um, just before the NBA season or right around the middle of the NBA season, she, her skims signed a deal with the NBA right. which was cool and I think she's now with the WNBA as well to where they wear her uh, yeah. skims underneath uh, for the athletes so I think Kim is going to surprise us all I think she's going to do another Taylor's TikTok with North I just think she's going to be like that's okay she did a song about me I'm still going to root for her yeah I, she may embrace it I yeah. think she's going to embrace yeah. it man and man I mean, oh man and that would be a, i mean it's a good thing too people embrace it because why do you want like this mean girl persona mean girl persona like i think it should be done and over with and they should just support one another women supporting women just like the guys keep dissing each other right which we'll um, get into in a little while i don't know someone can't does, everybody just get along you know right? what that's a great segue for what we're going to get into right now everybody Nicki minaj let's go